All right, guys, we have a Model 3. Yeah, I love this red color. It's a red Model 3. And it came in for uh, brake fluid. So once again, the brake fluid is here. See, this cap right here is metal and it goes to this. It's pressurized. You pressurize the system to get all the fluid out. And the fluid in here is dot four. And we use BG.4 fluid. Not cheap, but we just put the best of the best in these cars. And if you see this machine right here, and everything's airtight. You see how it's, everything's airtight? It's because brake fluid is hygroscopic and absorbs moisture from the air. So that's why if you look at the Tesla manual, it tells you to check for moisture content in the brake fluid and tells you to change it out. And if you go to a lot of shops, this is what they do. All they do is take this cap off and suck it out here and just replenish the fluid. Now the problem is this, it doesn't matter how good the fluid is in here because this fluid travels down and it goes to each caliper on each brake system. And all the fluid that sits in the hoses and the master cylinder, see that's still like regular car component, master cylinder. It's just like any other car. And the calipers are like any other car. And it just sits there and that's the fluid you have to extract and the ABS module and everything like that. It's not the, the fluid in the actual tank doesn't matter as much. It's the fluid that's in the calipers and the hoses that is gonna start deteriorating the uh, rubber lines and start seizing calipers. So I guess it's a good opportunity to kind of show you everything. All right, so we got, see this is all the dirty fluid. Look how dark this fluid is out here. And you got clean fluid going in. And we got this machine, it's a BG PF7 machine. And this is awesome because It'll just keep on bleeding it until it goes down here. And then it'll just tell you when to like go wheel one, wheel two, wheel three, wheel four. So you just make sure that we have all the fluid out instead of just sucking some of it. And even though you'll have some shops, you'll have some shops that yeah, they'll be honest and they'll lift it up, pump, get the fluid out of the reservoir, put new fluid in. And then, um, oh, you already done this one? Oh, you're about to do it? Yeah. so. They'll get the new fluid in, but they won't have a machine to pressurize it. So they'll just like gravity bleed it and just let the gravity come out of it. But that's not gonna put enough pressure where it'll get all the fluid out. So this machine right here allows it to get all the fluid. And this is a Tesla required service. Now, now it's a required service, not recommended. And it's required that it's checked every two years, I believe, uh, according to Tesla, the manual. So, you see the fluid coming out? Okay. Oh yeah, you can, I can feel the fluid coming out. Yeah, there you go, now you can see it. Also, if the master cylinder goes empty when you're doing a brake job, that's another great thing about this machine. I've seen a lot of shops mess up try to do the best for the customer so they'll let all the fluid out but if the fluid reservoir goes empty like the master cylinder goes empty then it's gonna get air in the system and it's so hard to get air out once it's in that's when you have a really squishy brake pedal even though with a tesla you probably won't even notice because you never push the brakes but on most cars it's gonna be like that and so if you don't have a machine like this usually you'll take a bottle and leave it upside down so it keeps it full like in the in the master cylinder but that's leaving your system open to the air so right now it's like a completely closed system right you have no air anywhere coming in that's very important because once the fluid is exposed to the air then it's absorbing moisture and the reason why that's bad is because if you're let's say you're going down the mountain and like pressing your brakes and you know it breaks it really hot and if you have high moisture content in the brake fluid, because it absorbs moisture in the air, then it's gonna start boiling inside the brake lines. So you see here, this is the brake hose and it's made of rubber. And this is the caliper. See that? So when you, there's fluid all in those lines, those lines run all the way to the front, to the, under the hood. And obviously we lift it right with using the pucks because here's a high voltage battery. And if 
it touches or if you don't use these then it could damage it and it is time consuming because we do all four wheels the right way but you know that's what you're paying for that's why some shops will do it for 60 bucks and we charge we're charging 149 which is really cheap for what we do and we'll just go to all four wheel safety yes is right here And you'll have a bleeder screw. I don't know if you have to take the wheel off or not, but sometimes you do because you don't have enough clearance. So, just want to show you that. Hopefully, that was helpful. Okay. Okay. So this is all empty now. Remember, it was full with new fluid, so it went all the way down. So we know all the fluid escaped, and it's definitely a lighter color inside. So that's the complete Tesla brake fluid service. And uh, this will keep it from corroding the expensive internals. Like there's seals and stuff, rubber seals and stuff inside the master cylinder. You guys saw that the hoses were rubber and those will, those will collapse and corrode. So uh, don't overlook the service, guys. This is very, very important, especially if you guys are in a colder climate.